So we're in South Sea. We're now going to go across to the island. I said we, you know, we are going to the Isle of Wight today. I said we would be, so we're going on the, on the hovercraft. And I, I sent in advance an email to Stephen behind me there. He's, he's hiding. There he is. Who's the media guy for hover travel? And he's arranged for us to come behind the barriers and get some decent footage of the hovercraft coming up and everything. So uh, absolutely fantastic. But it's due to arrive, I think, shortly, Stephen, isn't it now? About 20 past 12, should be here. It's going to be flying up the beach here, literally. So this is the only, what do you say, Steve, the, the only... It's the only year-round commercial passenger hovercraft service in the in world. The world. And where's the one right. which isn't the year-round? Do you know? There's, it's not many anyway, is there? Yeah, there's, there's one in Canada that you, is, happens when, when the ice bridge melts. The Inuits, the local indigenous ah. population, they, they, they can't get any boats to get across. So right. what they use is they, the, 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 the um, Canadian government have set up a hovercraft service, which is, I mean, it's two or three times a week, but it gives them a chance to get yeah, groceries yeah, yeah, and posts yeah. and all the rest of it. Yeah. And then when it freezes again, yeah. the, the hovercraft's not used. Right. That's, that's quite, obviously quite important. Um, there are a few that are sort of much more unknown about around the, the, the river borders between Russia and China. Right. Again, but they're not scheduled in any way. Yeah. yeah. I think you're just lucky you turn up and you might yeah. be able to use one. So Maybe, this is yeah. the one that this gets is used. The... And we get people coming from around the world to see it. So yeah. Is what? this is this uh they made in the UK. Obviously it's a yeah. UK, it's a British invention, isn't it? Yeah, but... but they were made in Southampton. Oh really? Right. And those ones I was talking to about they're actually being made even closer in Porchester. Oh yeah. really? Just, just, oh, just I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. So, so yeah, they're building those ones there. So yeah, it's it's, it's great because it was invented in Britain, yeah. made and manufactured, designed in Britain, and now it's operated Operating. and maintained in Britain. So, Fantastic. Um, That's what we yeah. like. So, what do they run on then? Are they uh, diesel? Diesel, diesel yeah. yeah. Two, two turbo diesels. Two, yeah. Okay. Um, man and, engines from Germany. And most of the power's in lifting it up, is it? Or, well. The split changes. Yeah. Okay. Because how they they they, they actually fly it that would be a yeah. pilot question. But yeah. basically, once once you've got it lifted, yeah. And then the, the, the skirt, the rubber bit, the yeah. black bit, is yeah. holding that air in. Yeah. Then we've got no friction. Yeah. And it's very easy to move. Then what happens is the power. The fans move it. Yeah, the fans. So the lift fans are doing yeah. their bit, but yeah. that then gets reduced. And then they're looking for thrust. They've got variable pitch mm -hmm. on the propeller. Oh, so, so they that can they, choose where that where the air goes fans. to. They've got rudders to steer it, and then they start moving along. Yeah. And the quote <laughs> the quotes from the pilots I get up that it's like driving a Land Rover on ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Because yeah, yeah. The, the, the braking is increasing the friction. Right. So you, there is no brake. Is that yeah. is it, so? They reduce the hover, do they? Yeah, they reduce. They reduce the hover, yeah. so it's not li not as, yeah. as slippery, if you like. Exactly that. Yeah. So I've done an emergency stop in one of these on the sea. Yeah, it was almost dropped there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just literally they take all the air it out. It sinks. Yeah. They, yeah. They've got vents that allow it to escape even quicker. So yeah. They cut oh. the fans and then they open these vents. Yeah. And it literally goes boom. And stops. Yeah. yeah. And stops. And, and would I guess it, would it's buoyant it... anyway. The whole thing floats without. Yeah. Yeah. It floats. It's like a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Aluminium boat. Yeah. How many are there? Are there two? We have two, but there's just one. One in service at the moment. One in service at the moment, or an hourly. Yep. You can roughly see. Yeah. That it's, it's going to aim up. That's the centre line here. Is that right? Okay. Yep. And it's going to be. You can roughly see where the, the, the wettest patch of it's going to come. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to sit here. It's quite loud. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, not as loud as they used to be, but it is still quite loud. Zero five rules, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does the pilot know that pilot helmsman pilot. is he a pilot? He's a pilot. Does he know we're going to be here he at knows all? We're going to be here gotcha. We've got these yeah, yeah. So it won't come as a surprise. Yeah. So, no, it, won't, it won't come as a surprise, and he'll be happy with that. Mm. Um, what you're going to find is it's, 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 it's not quite high tide. You're going to get a lot of spray at the, at, yep. at the bit then. Yeah. And you're also going to get stones. Both of those are obviously not particularly conducive to camera, camera, lenses. To camera lenses and your eyes. Yeah, no, no of so course. Again, situational awareness. If a stone's coming yeah. towards you, <laughs> even if you get close a close your eyes, shot, yeah. Out of the way, yeah, yeah. Um, and you will get a bit of spray as it yeah, comes towards yeah. you. So just, yeah. just watch out for that bit. If it all goes wrong, I plan to sue Lamb Chops Rides. <laughs> <not you. laughs> In COVID, we adapted that you'll see the, the freight bit. We adapted it to be able to take stretcher patients from the island. Oh right, okay. We actually run a blue light service for the NHS. So okay. The ambulance to us. Yeah. We get on the craft. There's nobody else on that craft. Hey. The stretcher patients wow. wheeled on. They fly across in ten minutes. Ambulance. It must be the quickest way across the yeah. by far, isn't it? We, we beat the air ambulance. They really? Can, they, we can go quicker than the yeah, air yeah, ambulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. So from hospital to hospital. Right. Here it comes. though, look at this. Here it comes. Big old Union Jack on the front. I love yeah. it.
Massive holly. Back already. It's huge. Look at that. Here it comes. Bird's eye view. the power and it sinks. There you go guys, I promise you a hovercraft. <laughs> There's a hovercraft. Amazing, it's sinking down. Yeah, now the air's coming out. Yeah. And what it'll do is it'll run the engines for a little while because we like to keep them as warm as possible. Yeah. And yeah. Just keep them rolling. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's gonna, the door's a clamshell. You'll hear a little light, high noise. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll did the passengers come out the front then, did they? Yeah, okay. The front, yeah. 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 If you've been before, you'd have come out the side. The side, that's right, yeah. That's right, yeah. Out the front. Yeah. Which actually goes back to when they were originally done, you used to climb in through the front. That's right. The very first one. Yeah, yeah. It would have been that same. It was. I went on those yeah, real yeah, classic yeah, the ones. Hatch, the hatch at the front. Yeah, the hatch yeah the front. that's, that's right. what I went yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the little hatch, yeah. And then it was at the side near the rear, I think, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then that's the latest one. So the old ones used to have, like, little chimneys that used to, on the front. Right, so... They, what, what's replaced that then? So those are called bow thrusters. Yeah. We actually had bow thrusters on the original design of this version. Right. And the pilots found that they didn't need them. Oh, so they just removed yeah, them? Yeah, they used to be for manoeuvrability. So obviously okay. you've got the, you've got the yeah, yeah. rudders and the things yeah. at the back, which yeah. did that, but they wanted extra bit of them. For and they don't need them? They don't need them, they're too skilled. Very good. How did you become a hovercraft pilot then? I'd imagine that's... Yeah, that's uh, to be a master of a watch, so you have to have been responsible for a vessel out at sea for watches. Yeah. And then you come and train with us for three months. Oh. But there are very few. We only got... We've only got eight. Yeah. As we always say, and they love this, the pilots, to be fair. But there are more Top Gun pilots than there are hovercraft pilots <laughs> in the world. The elite. <laughs> the elite. The elite. The elite. Best of the best. Yeah. 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 Best, yeah. Of the best of the best. Yeah. <laughs> As they pull away, I'm going ballistic. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Does he give it the other? I feel the need, the need <laughs> for speed. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're limited in our speed by the King's um, Harbour Master and yeah. the Coast Guard. Cool. But these will go, I mean, this is 45 knots easily. It's fast, goes. isn't it? Really? And it'll go quicker. What's well, so miles an hour then? Because well, they're not small miles an hour, over, isn't over it? Over 50. Yeah, over 50. Yeah, over 50. That's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing how easy access, isn't it? Yeah. On this new one. There's no climbing the steps. No, right fantastic, isn't it? Here we go, hovercraft. Oh yeah, yeah, good to meet you. Oh yeah. Good. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, big, isn't it? Cars, yeah. Spacious, no, isn't it? Good. Yeah, on the back here. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. Superb. Oh, must be inside in the wall, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's like being on a plane. Off. What a jolly day out, isn't this it? This is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. This is better than the car ferry. It's smooth, isn't it? So smooth. Because it's on a cushion of air, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, cushion of air flying. Flying along. The uh, stewardess is just going round, John. Do you want vodka and money? She's doing his cider. <laughs> Ten minutes to the Isle of Wight. And 10 minutes, you lived on the Isle of Wight and you want to go shopping, you literally could go yeah. over to Gun Wharf Quays. It's quicker than driving from where I live, Yeah. to be no, honest. It's, it's amazing. And I think if you um, if you live on the island, the amount you pay is cheaper than yeah, if you, yeah, no, you get a discount. You get a much yeah, discounted yeah. rate, isn't it? So, If you're in a small dinghy or a small sailboat, this just goes straight over you, just crushes <laughs> you. <laughs> That's the turn, just goes straight through everything. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon we could have got the bikes in there, I reckon there was room for the bikes in the middle there, wasn't there? And there's a ramp on it. Yeah, there's a ramp, we could have driven <laughs> creeped them straight on. <laughs> there we go, up the beach. Here's the other one, they've got two, two uh, hovercrafts. 
only ones in service in the winter. If they need to put another one on, they can, but that's the other one. Right? And we're there, 10 minutes to the Isle of Wight. It's so fast, isn't it? And then we sink down there. There we go. Welcome. You got your passport ready? <laughs> and apps. Don't forget to set your watches. <laughs> Hour ahead. Oh yeah. Right, yeah. The compilers just said if you, if you wanted to go up to the cockpit to do any oh, filming up there, oh, yeah, like the people have gone off, you'll stay up there. Oh, we'll do that then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be well, amazing. Thank you very much. That'd be amazing. Going up to the cockpit. That's not easy to. It's not <laughs> easy to get up, is it? Yeah, blank checks always a good. But I won't be able to fit up here. I can't get up. Can't get my knees up. Go on, you can do it. Find your head. Yeah, I'll wait down here. The pilot's going to come up, give us a quick run through. So this is a standard marine radar. Yeah. Turn that on you. Can see what you can see ride right pier head there. That's man on the end of the pier. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you've got your instruments, which are um, a visual display rather than being... That's left and right engine, is it, I yeah. guess, the, the two? Yeah, um, they're MAN, which I believe is owned by Volkswagen. They are 1,100 horsepower each, V12, wow. twin turbo. I'll show you those in a minute. Yeah. So that's the left-hand engine. Uh, most important things on there really are the water temperature, oil pressure. That's the same for both. I can go into more depth to look at different things if I'm yeah. having a problem. Um, and then we go full cycle back to there. When I turn the ignition off, they'll, they'll die the death. Then we've got DGPS, um, which shows you where you are, your track, position, time. Which is okay, it's supplied by um, four atomic clocks in outer space, believe oh, it or really? not. So, so, so nobody can argue with me. Yeah, that's the time. time that is the actual time. The <laughs> same see, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Marine compass. Yeah. Steer by. No cursor on it, but there is a heading mark there. Yeah. My panel here for the radar. My panel here for the Eptis. For so what's that one? Sorry, Electronic the... chart display. Okay. Which is here. I've got the Isle of Wight here. Yeah. Uh, you've got Gill Kicker, Portsmouth Harbour. So is that all the way to Heading Island? And oh. this tells you where we are. And that's like. And that tells GPS. you where I've been. Okay. A bit like a black box. These are my four ballast tanks. Yeah. So I can adjust the craft anywhere. Okay. I choose. Well, pulling water on them. Water yeah. on. Oh wow. No, okay. there's water already in there. There's water. Right, and that pumps it around the craft to. I do with this. Ah, oh, okay. Wherever I put that is where yeah. the water is going. Oh, wow. So if everybody gets on on a sunny day and they want to look out that side, they'll all wander over there, sit down and look out that side. But I can tell um, from the cameras downstairs, which are behind you, where they're sitting. Nice. The commuters like to sit in the front seats so that they're first, first on, on in first, their seat, first, first off. off. Yeah. Whereas day trippers will tend to go for the windows and people who aren't interested to sit at the back. Yeah, yeah. But I can see where they are before I leave. That's very important. Because if you lift up and you're trimmed very heavily by the stern, then the craft will just, just drag. Just go that way, I see. It, so has, it has to be on an even keel. So you have to, before you set off, you check everyone's seated and adjust the ballast accordingly. Yeah, and then again. as soon as I lift up, I'm adjusting you're again. Adjusting again. Oh, a little wow. bit. Wow. Um, so we're, we're, we're continuously moving ballast around. If we're in, into a heavy sea, I might lift the bow slightly more than I normally would to make sure that she yeah, doesn't start. Yeah, not digging in or whatever. Yeah. Digging in, diving, yeah. uh, ploughing, they call it, the most severe situation. But better to be trimmed. Um, standards about a degree, half a degree by the stern. Right. Over here I've got my pumps, hydraulic pumps for the steering gear. Same as an aircraft. We steer with these pedals. Uh, okay, so that, that's the, the rudder, is it, if you like? The... Opposite to a bicycle. Okay. If you want to turn right, you push right. Right. If you do that on a bicycle, you go left. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. And they're driving the eight rudders that you see there moving. Oh, up. I see, see them oh, the actual now? rudder behind the propellers. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I see that drives those. Eight of them for each. Wow. System failures, I've got effectively eight different types. Yeah. Because I've got two sets of rudders. I've got a, a tiller that I can steer by, or I can use pedals. So that makes it four, and then I've got a secondary system for both that makes it eight. Right. So there are eight possibilities of maintaining steering, which is right. yeah, yeah. A, a very necessary backup. And here I've got the pitch levers, so that will alter the pitch of the blades. 
Ah, the pitch of the blades, right. So I can, that's zero, that's null. This is a stern and increasing. Sort of like like a that's helicopter, it. if you like, a helicopter sort of pitch adjustment, is it? Or yeah, a lot of power boats have got very Oh, have they? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or I guess those really high have, powered... You don't have to go into neutral uh, and then go see. into a stern. Yeah, yeah. I can be on full power and go from full head to full stern. Right. So these are obviously the throttles. Port engine, starboard engine. So that's zero. That, that's a cruise. This is that's, that's a, max. Oh, wow, that's, I didn't realise you had adjustable pitch on the blades. That's really interesting. I guess you can try it asymmetrically. Yeah, you, know, you can yeah. have one going ahead and one going astern, so the craft will turn in its own length. I suppose that's the only way to do it, isn't Rather it? Than with doing the... a big drift. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, with bow thrusters, you could reverse them. Um, and then just power against yeah. them to turn it round almost to the same. Stephen was saying you don't actually need bow thrusters on these new ones. They, they, you can steer them so well with the. Uh, yeah. 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 Bow thrusters are useful for banking into a turn. Yeah. You know, you initiate the turn oh, I see. with, you can with get bow a bit thrusters. Of, right, I see. Satellite compass, emergency compass. Yeah. Uh, this is any information that's going on. Uh, when the alarms come up, they'll show me what alarms have been on. I cancel it with that one. Yeah. You can see that's been quite well worn. <laughs> <laughs> the cancel button. Here we've got really other information that we don't necessarily yeah. use on the craft. Um, it's, it's direction, it's wind speed. Yeah. Um, engine start keys. The two computerised monitors for the engines. Uh, two separate fire panels with three zones on here and service bay wheelhouse main cabin on this one. Yeah. So, so when you're so when you're in, in motion going along, are you constantly correcting ballast? Are you constantly yes. adjusting the pitch on the blades? Yes. And, and so steering. So it's almost like it's really like a helicopter where you're constantly giving input to keep yeah. it headed in the right direction. Um, to be able to steer with your feet means both hands are free, yeah. and they need to be because there's so much You're constantly going on, wow. ballasting and trimming and yeah. adjusting on these panels, nav instruments. These, these are these are wander away, so oh, at night right. you'd have both of those on your knees. So what are they used for then? This is marine radar, Okay. It's detecting objects in the dark, Yeah. and this is where we are, where we're going, that's like GPS, the route plan. Like the route plan. That, that's the route yeah. plan that we follow. Right. So we put a, we put put in a route before we leave, a chosen route, and yeah. that would show you as motorway lines on there. Oh, okay. And if you if you come off it, it will alarm. So you've got you sticking on that. And it on will that tell route. you how to rectify it. Yeah. It'll give you a cross track error and With the, bring it back on. Wow. And it's very useful in fog for landing because you've got you, sometimes you just cannot see anything yeah, at yeah. all. But there you've got. Um, your runway grids, so your you know you're on the most, centre line, yeah. and the navigator will slow you down saying we've got two cables to run or 100 metres, you need to bring the speed down to 15 yeah, knots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That is, I didn't realise there was so much to it. That's, that's amazing. I didn't know anything about the ballast, I didn't know anything about having adjustable pitch on the blade. It's and our two, two fuel tanks, 900 metres on each side. So the fuel tank can move that, you can, can move, move the fuel it. as well as yeah, ballast sort of thing. Yeah. So. Wow, okay. Well, that's amazing. I really appreciate that. That's incredible. Thank you very much indeed. So, it's probably, we could be up here all day. Yeah, no, no. Right, well, thanks very much indeed for that. It's okay.